In this video, I'm going to show you how the system.io page builder works. Let's get started. So if you've used page builders before like Divi or Elementor, you're going to find some familiarities over here. So over here, I'm going to go to funnels and then we're going to create a new one or we can even go to an existing one. But let me just start everything from scratch. So I'm going to come over here to create. So now I can just give this a name. So I'm just going to call this uh, tutorial. And I'm going to build an audience. It doesn't really matter which one we choose here. And then I'm going to click on create. Right. So now we need to choose a template and we have quite a few to choose from, as you can see over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one that has a lot of elements in it so I can show you how to go in and customize it. So I'm going to go with uh, this one right here I'm going to hit select. So now you can see the little triangle over here is gone. So to customize this or to see how the builder works, we need to go into the editor first. So I'm going to click here on edit. And now we have all our elements. So how this works is you need to first take a look at uh, what happens when you hover. So we have our sections, we have rows, and then we have specific items. Okay, similar to what you get with Divi or Elementor or any of these other page builders. So if you want to make changes to something, you have to go in and click into it. So let's say, for example, I need to make changes to this headline. I'll click into it like that, and then I can just start typing. So let's say I just add the Mac headline, and you can see now I can just go in and type, delete, or do any of that. Now, while I'm in this mode, I can also go in and change the colors. But notice that when I change the color like that, it, nothing happens. That is because I need to select everything. So I'm going to select all the text like that. And now I can change the color just like that. Okay, so that is how you customize text. Next, let's say you want to uh, make the whole text um, underlined. You highlight it first and then you underline it. Or you can make it italics or you can make it bold. So you need to make sure you highlight the text first before you do anything. So that's the text. But we also have further customizations here. So over here on the font size, notice what happens when I drag the slider. It makes my text smaller and I can also adjust my line height. So like that. So these are further customizations that I can do over here on the left. Now, just below this, I also have my fonts. So if I click on this drop down, I can choose Google fonts and then select my font. You know, uh, I like using pop in, so I'm going to select that. And I can also change uh, this to say bold like that. So that is how we customize text in system.imo page builder. Okay, now uh, let's work on uh, something else. Now, before you get started, when you work on uh, the page builder, what I highly recommend you do is to go into the page settings because it just saves you a lot of time to change quite a lot of things throughout this whole design. So let me show you what you need to do. So let's say we've opened up our new template here. The first thing you want to do is to come over here to settings. Choose your default font. So this is where you'd come in and set your font. So I've set it to Poppins and it's regular. Color of links. So you can over, uh, come over here and set your link colors. So let's say we're going to go with that. And you can also customize your text color. So this is global to this page itself, which is brilliant. So now we have our heading typography. Again, we can set this to Poppins. And the type here, we're going to set it to, uh, let's go to semi bold 600. And then we continue on. Now, if there's anything you need to add here, you can just add your background colors and so on. And this is where you would change your title. So this is where your page title goes. And if you need to add any tracking code, this is where you would add it. So that is the settings of this page. All right. So once you're done, hit save. Now let's take a look and see how our sections work. So you can just hover over here and you get this area for your section. Now, if you just click on that, now we are in the section. And to know, you have to take a look here on the top. So this is where you can play around with your margins. So you can set your margins here for the top. 
you can also set a background color but of course uh, it's up to you what color you want to use so let's just add a slight gray. Now you can also come over here and, and type in a specific hexadecimal value. So let's say it's F4, F4, F4. That's a very light gray. That's your background color. You can also add a background image if you wanted to. And you also have things like uh, padding, uh, padding top, bottom, left, and so on. You can also customize that. And you also have a shadow. Now, if you want this uh, heading to show only on mobile, you can just disable it there and you can see now it's gone. And if you enable it, now it's showing on both devices. Okay, over here on the bottom, if you click on that, it shows you what it's gonna look like in a mobile device. So this is fantastic because your designs need to look great uh, in different uh, types of uh, screens. So by having a look at that, this gives you an idea of how things are going to look, which is fantastic. All right, so if you want to switch back, you just click on that. So now while we're still here on the page builder, let's take a look at how we can go in and customize uh, other areas. So we've done this section. Now let's take a look at our rows. So again, once it's highlighted, you just want to click on it and again we get all our options here for the rows so if you wanted to add a bit of padding here on the left and the right this is how you would customize it okay and again like before we can also add our background color to this row we can also add our padding our border and so on okay now, let's look at our individual items. Now, I know we've done the text here. Let's take a look at our button here. So if I click on this gear icon, it again takes me into the button. Now, the button here has a few more options. So it can either open in a URL, but if you click on this drop down, you can turn this button into a downloadable item. So if you can attach uh, something to this button, when, you, when someone clicks on it, it downloads a file. So you can set it to that. You can also set it to go to the next uh, step. You can also set it to show as a pop-up. So it has so many options, which is fantastic. Okay, so that's our button. We can also go over here and change the button text. We can also change um, the font by coming over here. So let's go with Google Fonts. And I'm going to search for my font here so I can show you how easy it is to add it. There we go. So I've just added my font. I'm going to make it... Um, medium there we go so that is how we customize this and now as i mentioned we can also change the background color okay so that's the individual item so let's say you want to add new things here how do we do that so let's first of all show you how to delete something so i've just clicked on that so i'm just going to go in and delete it okay so that's how you delete an item and now we have space over here now, we also have a handle here which we can use to adjust the width. So you can see here, I've just uh, adjusted that. Now, let's say I want to add a video. I'll just drag my module here and add it. And there we go. We have our video. And if you want to add your own URL, you'd click over here. And you can add your direct URL from there. So I'm going to go to Vimeo because I have some videos here in Vimeo. Copy my link. And then back over here on the editor, I'm just going to paste it. So there is my video. Now for this video, we also have further customizations. We can add a border, we can add our border radius and so on. And we can also add our margins, top, bottom, left, and right. And there's two things that we can do here. We can auto play. As soon as someone lands on the page, the video can start playing. Or you can also play around with these controls. So I'm gonna leave the controls on. Or you can take them off. So you can see here, my controls are off. And now I'm just gonna leave them on. Okay, excellent. So that's how it works. So let, let's say you want to work on your own section or you want to add your own content. Well, that is easy. All you have to do is to find a spot. So these are all your elements and these are your blocks. So you can either choose to add um, elements or you can add blocks. So if I click here on opt-in forms, you can see here we have a block which is already created for us, which we can just go in and drop. 
So I'm going to click here on this section and you can see there it has been added all the way to the bottom here. But maybe that's not how I would want it. So I'm going to delete that and I want to put it in a specific place. So let's say I just want it uh, after here. I can now drag and drop it. Okay, now we have our opt-in all ready to go. All I have to do now is to go in and set my parameters. And so far we have these different blocks. So we can ha uh, so we have so we have this style here. We also have that. Now, if I go on back, we also have features. So if I want to add specific features to my design as I'm working on it, I can just drag and drop my items here. So let's say uh, I want to add these features here. I'm going to drag, drop it here on the top. And there we have our features ready to go. And notice that my font here has changed, which makes the designing of my page very, very easy. So like I said, we also have different types here. If you choose any one of these, you can go in and add your own background images. Okay, now let's go back. So we have price plans as well. So if you wanted to add a price plan, uh, this time to uh, differentiate the two, let's add a bit of gray to this one here. So I'm going to go to my section and then go to background color. Okay, so, okay, let's go with this. Okay, so let me just quickly add my color like that. So if we want to go back now, we can just go to our blocks and uh, we said price plans, didn't we? So now I can choose my price plan and drop it right here. There we go. So now I have my price plan and my font here has taken shape. So this is how we can add ready-made blocks that we can add to our design here which is fantastic. It just makes it easy for us to design. But if you want to add single components as you're designing your site or your page or your site, this is where you can just drag and drop your headline, for example. And there's your headline call to action. We can add bulleted points like that. And also, let's say you want uh, to um, section out your page uh, in, a, in a specific way. You can drag and drop your columns like that. And now I can go in and say, OK, you know what? I want this bulleted list over here. And you can see I'm now starting to design this really quick. So you have your forms here. You have your check checkbox. We also have our survey. And we also have other elements that we can add to this page. So as you can see, it is very, very easy to use the page builder that comes with system.io. See you in the next video.